episode of Wino Wednesday, number three. We're getting better and better each week. Becca's back. She's Hi, guys. Fi- she can finally talk again after her bout of pneumonia. <laughs> and so Rachel Christensen, client manager. Um, actually, all over. I really can't. Primarily. Client manager. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I can't cover your states. There's a lot of them. Um, and we are drinking wine from Sheila Bissell, who works with Eric. She was so sweet to send this to us. She has done a handful of assignments in California, actually, with Rachel, Salinas, Oakland. And these two are from a vineyard called Castello de Amorosa, um, which is right outside of St. Helena in yes. Calistoga. So she, this is her favorite winery. These are her favorite wines, and she was nice enough to send them to us, so we really appreciate it. Sheila is currently, she's from Omaha, currently on assignment in Memphis, um, mother, baby, postpartum nurse. So thanks, Sheila. Super sweet. Thank you, thoughtful. Sheila. Thank you for sponsoring this Wine on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back to the Red Solo Cups. Yes. Next mm-hmm. week, apparently there's a surprise. Maybe we know what it is, but we're not going to tell. And God bless Karen and marketing. She finally got us a wine opener. But Sheila just so happened that these bottles are twist offs. So we appreciate that as well. (laughs) Thanks. Becca. Okay. Why don't you tell us a little bit of the history? And yes, um, pardon the, nothing the wine can't help though today. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll feel Mm -hmm. better with here. Um, So basically, starting with just kind of the over view legacy of this winery. Again, it's called Castella di Amorosa. Um, Which means? That means Castle of Love, I would imagine in Latin as Amor or Amore is a type of love and um, Latin for that. Backstory, so you guys Becca can... did get her degree in teaching, so we're <laughs> So we're gonna, we're we won't talk up. about word origin more than that, but other, other than that. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna read a little bit because this is a, um, this is a crash course on this winery for myself as well. Um, so basically, fourth generation winemaker Dario Satui um, started this authentically styled 13th century Tuscan castle winery um, to honor just his Italian heritage and where he came from. Um, his ancestors um, came over here back in, I believe, the early uh, 1800s. Um, so fast forward a little bit to why he wanted to do this as a child he always would play in the wineries underground and i can only imagine that would which actually sounds super cool Mm -hmm. i I totally play hide and seek in a wine oh yeah (laughs) yeah he started this i'm just again going to read a little bit here um his interest in medieval architecture grew into an obsession as he traveled around europe after college um he didn't know it then but the hours that he had spent as a child sketching castles and so forth definitely played a big part um in the blueprint for his vision He's talking about his ideas coming together, and this is what I think is neat that he said. I wanted to specialize in making small lots of primarily Italian-style wines and showcasing them in an authentic medieval castle setting where, this is what I love, they would be directly sold to the public, not in stores or restaurants. So it is very, I think, exclusive um, that you can't just go into. It's not something, but you can order it on their website. Right, yeah. So basically today... Castello de Amorosa is considered an architectural masterpiece with all of the elements of an authentic medieval castle, a moat, a drawbridge, five towers. Oh my gosh, I got it. It's go. amazing. <laughs> Ram- defensive ramparts. So you guys remember ramparts mm-hmm. was part of the Star Spangled Banner. So yeah. Um, again, I don't even know what a, a rampart history. is. Do you? No. Let's look it up. But <laughs> maybe some test? type of a Alexa. Um, what's a rampart? Rampart is usually defined as an embankment built around a space for defensive purposes. Oh, oh defensive awesome. purposes. Awesome. That makes sense. Awesome. Oh, so they were ready for yes. the, mm-hmm. Hence to that storm song the too, Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, courtyards, loggias, a chapel, stables, an armory, oh my goodness, and even a torture chamber. Oh. What? Oh my gosh, Halloween would be so much fun there. Oh my. Fifty Shades of Wine. <laughs> so, right? Oh, boy. So that is just a little of the history of this place. Rachel, I'm going to turn it over to you. She's going to talk about um, various different things translating from to now and various things that you can do there. Yeah. They this have... is the best part. Sorry, really no. quick. Yeah. He did this. He came, so he traveled the world, came back, ready to get down to it, revive this winery. And he did it with $8,000 and a book on how to make wines. Hmm. That's all he had. And it turned into a 
107 room castle with you gotta have a lot of passion. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a that's torture amazing. chamber. Well, that's okay. Yeah. So they have options for guests to come and visit. Um, they have a general admission and wine tasting. It's $30. It, you have five choices of premium wine tastings. Um, they also offer a guided tour and premium wine tasting, and this is a 60-minute tour. Uh, there's also upgrades available for adding chocolate and reserve mm. wine, so mm. even more. Mm. Who doesn't love right? chocolate with their wine? Right. If it's red. Yeah. Exactly. I guess white wine too. <laughs> um, and the tour we would recommend is the Royal Food and Wine Pairing Tour. Am I right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That would be on Because it involves my... food. And you should Correct. always eat always. while you drink. Mm -hmm. Rule number one. Do <laughs> Absolutely. not drink a bottle of wine by yourself on an empty stomach. I've never done that before because it's a bad idea. Right. And I only know that because somebody else told me it was a bad idea. Not because I learned not it first the hard way. No, not mm -hmm. firsthand. Good. Um, the Royal Tour is um, a pampering experience. It is about two and a half hours in length, and um, it is at a cost of ninety-five dollars, which I don't think is a bad price I don't because think so they either. like it's a it's a whole spread for right. your meal. And they actually on their website uh, they provide the menu, and then they also provide all the recipes, so you can go home and recreate it after you purchase your own bottles of wine and. Do it with your friends in, in, so in you your can own have home. That yeah. Your home. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And they all look amazing. That would definitely. And these be are award-winning wines. Yes. Oh yeah. They I have mean, so many awards. Like I could not even scroll all the way down through the list. Accolade upon accolade. Accolade. Nice. Very mm -hmm. good. Guys, I mean, we need to start this one. I think mm -hmm. it's time for some S's. <laughs> Becca's favorite. I can never remember the order of them. So yeah. go, girl. Okay. Dang it. We need Let's some wine start music. With, um, we have a wine, um, a candle, oh, so we created some ambiance here. This is one of those crackling, um, not a woodwick. This is actually not legal. This is from. Oh. We're gonna plug Chip Woodwicks and Joanna, are expensive. my good friends. Mm -hmm, they are. Oh, did you get that at Target? Um, no, this was from Ashley Gross for oh. a housewarming gift. Oh. Um, Maybe he got it at Target. It was amazing. No, they stopped in their store. Oh, down in, in Texas. Oh. oh, in Waco. Eh? Yeah. You just go to nice. I know. It says it's a, but it is wooden. It's a wooden wick. It's it just is. not that brand. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I see what you're saying. It's right, their right. Magnolia collection, whatever. It's amazing, mm. and we're getting the crackling. Apparently, on we mm. are um, marketing candles now as Sorry. well. So feel free <laughs> to send us candles. Joanna. Come visit Alice. Um, okay, first video. one is a Moscato 2017. Pour yourself some wine. <laughs> um, they call it. Uh, we need Diane in here because she's <laughs> Sicilian, so know. she has better <laughs> Italian than us. But I'm going with. Raggio del Sol. Raggio del Sol. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Think for validating so. that. Um, the vintage is 2017. This is a Muscat Canelli grape. Um, Appalachian, which we just found out means where it's grown. I didn't know that, even though I should have put two and two together because it says California. And this mm -hmm. one, they aged for a year, and we got a 12% alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Let's start with our S's. <laughs> All right, here Becca, we go. you remember them. Okay, so. I, I never remember them. Smell. Smell. Oh, you see it. You I can't see smell anything. Oh, right see now. it. Yeah. Okay, I see it. Smell it. Swirl it. Smell it. Mm. Wait. Mm. Like around and around. I smell then... grapefruit. Maybe not. Mm. They only made 2,200 pieces of this. It doesn't tell you what's in it. I want to drink it right now. It smells Don't really do good. it. Don't do it. 2,200 cases. Oh, wow. We do a lot of research on these. Perfect wine pairing to pair with desserts mm -hmm. or after dinner for sipping with friends. Yeah. It also says with sushi. Oh, I love sushi. I have Me lunch. too. I don't see, I can't really see legs in a okay, red so solo do, cup. No. But once again, that's going to change soon. But we're going with it's okay. not super leggy. Cheers. 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 Where you belong, guys. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah. Oh, I should have made you guys guess. Oh my gosh, it's not grapefruity at all. Mm -mm. But it, it, no, not grapefruity. Mm -mm. There is a citrus something though. There is an acidic mm. after. 
They could really help us out more with this because we are not good grocers. Mm. Apparently not connoisseurs of it's good. the Moscato wine. Yeah, it's very good. Ooh, sauteed mm -hmm. chicken with a muscat sauce. I wonder if you would use the wine for that. For cooking that it. makes sense. Yes. Mm. Ahi tuna poke, my I was favorite say, food I feel on the like face tuna of the earth. Or seafood, where they said mm -hmm. sushi. Yeah, or crab cakes. Crepes Yum. with peaches and cream. Mm. There's nothing more than I like with crepes in the morning than a nice glass of <laughs> Moscato. <laughs> I think they just told me it's acceptable to start drinking this in I'm the morning. I'm pretty sure. We could, mm -hmm. we could mix this with, okay, here's really out there, because it's not champagne, but it's got that citrus mm -hmm. taste. It's that of. apricot. It's almost like a... It is like apricot. A, yeah. So That's what it is. could you pair it with orange juice and make your own, like, mm -hmm. mama? Well, I, would, I wouldn't really I would just do it in juice. the morning as my excuse Maybe to Maybe, like, it I chase it with orange juice so I was getting my vitamin C, but... Mm -hmm. I would, You're I would not mix after those this. complete meals, aren't you? Yeah. You gotta get those I'm all about the in. balance. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it in somewhere. Yeah. So uh, Rachel has four mm. kids, so she I drinks do. a lot. I do. <laughs> um, I was hoping that a whole bottle would be <laughs> saved just for me to take home to uh, get through this Monday. Well, we still have. <laughs> no, but you can buy it on their website. I and I yeah. will. And, and the I prices will. are really reasonable. I, I mean, think for the quality okay, yeah, of wine so that how it much is. Can we this. Ask? No, this has a lot of accolades. I do, I don't remember that one. What? Like I think that one was $30. Okay. Good All right. Moving on, because apparently we're talking it. too much. Um, wait for it. Frizzante style rosé, mm. and they call this La Fantasia. Mm. Um, great Disney movie. Um, <laughs> Frizzante means a soft sparkling wine. And it's a rosé, so. <gasps> so it says it's lower in alcohol. Yes, which is traditional with the frizzante style. I see. So what is the alcohol content of that one? Seven. It's seven. Yeah, well. it's like we're having seven. a beer. Yeah. Fill there her we up. Go. Mm. Fill her up. May I, ma'am? Please. Um, and mind. this one has bright aromas of summer strawberry, pomegranate, and wild berries, leading to juicy flavors of black raspberry and plum. Mm. 2017. Guys, the varietal, what it, how do you say that? Well, I don't know what you're reading. Varietal. varietal mm -hmm. Is a proprietary blend. They're not oh. going to tell us what kind of grapes they use here. It is a blend, and once again, stainless steel. <laughs> Choosies. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait S's, S's, correct? Yeah, I already said them all. Oh, well. see, now I'm getting ahead of myself. <gasps> mm. I like it. Reminds me of sangria. Mm, yeah, a little bit, bit of sangria mm -hmm. for sure. I can smell strawberry. Right. Okay, sip. Time. Oh, sip. So okay, cheers. we're just oh, cheers. 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 Oh, party oh, in my mouth. Ooh, Soft sparkling. I like it. So good. Mm. I like Ooh, it. That's definitely a strawberry. Oh my gosh. Pomegranate, blackberry, check. Yes. I check. love this. So that one. had a, a lot of accolades on the website? Yes. Okay. I can't remember what mm -hmm. they were, but they do. Mm -hmm. And La Fantasia. Oh, that doesn't sound I mean, with that low of an alcohol content, we could just keep this at our desk, really. I mean, mm -hmm. it's fine. Uh -huh. I think yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's it needs fine. water. Darker in color, the most rosés. Mm -hmm. uh, this one they're saying fruit platter, cheese platter, brunch dishes. I really mm -hmm. like the Again. early morning fruit stuff. Nice. And rich desserts. I oh. would drink this anytime. Mm -hmm. oh, I would too. It's delicious. Absolutely, I would too. Feels like a celebration. It's like so good. It's dangerous. Like it, yeah, I could because you don't even you know. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's not wine. It's right. like when you mean to take just a sip of your kid's Capri Sun and then you drink the whole thing. The whole pouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Sorry. Yeah, this is really Mama fun. was thirsty. Okay, so we talked a lot, and we got in trouble by Jamie, um, <laughs> but thank you to Sheila. And we hope that you have a wonderful assignment in Memphis. And if you have an Atlas recruiter and you are in California, we need to get you on a run yes. wine train. Yep. Oh, but only Talk if you them. like wine, because otherwise that might be weird. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, just, like, you know there. people who do too. So yeah, there get a are group so together. Many. They give discounts for groups over I don't 14 or 15, yep. I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. All of it. Get your unit. Cheers. Take your, unit. Take your whole Cheers. unit. Cheers. Wine on Wednesday. Woo. Yay.